Good afternoon, Lace Chop, and I'm John. This is very a true good welcome to the Magnificent Truffle Pigs, which deserves an award because bloody hell, that might just be the best game title I've ever bloody heard. And uh, oh, I've been looking forward to this one because uh, this here, this is a chilled out, relaxing, archaeological narrative game set in Britain, which as you may guess from like, you know, the background, the score, all the rest of it, this is going to be a nice time. Alright, it's been a difficult year. I think we all deserve a nice narrative British archaeological game. Alright, and even better, the narrative bit of this narrative archaeological game, one of the main voice cast is Arthur Darvell, i.e. Rory from Doctor Who. This is just going to be lovely. I've really been looking forward to this, damn it. Sometime last week, reaching out to an old friend. Oh, you see, now that, that sounds like a lovely place to start, damn it. Next week, that's all I've got. Then the farm vanishes, and so does that earring. Really? Well, if you can't manage the whole week, maybe just a day or two. No, it has to be now. They start tearing the farm apart next week. I'm sure. I'm sat right outside it now. I can see the sign. No, I already tried Claire. She's away partying at a festival. Jen's in Hong Kong on business. No, you weren't the last. I just thought, you know, with, with the kids and everything. Of course not. Look, oh, I'm sorry, Sally. Forget I asked. <laughs> Jake's gone away. And... I just thought we could get the old gang back together. You know, for a bit of fun. Like the old days. Oi! Detecting is fun. Look, don't worry about it. I've... I've actually been thinking of asking Adam if he'd help. Yes, that Adam. Don't say it like that. You lot just never understood him. And, well, he's never let me down. Jake isn't here, is he? Besides, Adam's a friend. Nothing else. And despite what you all think, he is good for me. I don't need to ask anyone else for help. Trust me, I need Adam. I shouldn't have called, not at this hour. I ignore me. Speak soon, yeah? <sighs> hey, Adam. It's me. Oh, look, I, I know it's been years, but I've got myself into a situation. I don't think I can handle it. Not on my own. That unfinished business at the farm? We need to finish it. Now. Oh no, this is the sort of drama I can deal with. Incredibly low stakes drama. Just, you know, a little bit of personal back and forth. Someone who's an old friend but might have been more perfect. Okay. Adam? Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Where are you? Don't worry, I'm close by. God, you weren't kidding about getting an early start. I was hoping we might have a lazy start to the week. Grab breakfast, mooch around, get reacquainted, but no. There'll be plenty of time to do that while we detect. Good to know these things are still working. They are, which is a surprise considering how cheap and nasty they look. Oi! These were the coolest toys money could buy in 2005. Haven't we grown out of toys? Oh, chill out, they'll do the job. Claire and I once chatted all the way across the valley with him. Grab the shovel and the trowel, then head out to the fields. Hurry up, you're missing a beautiful day. And there we go, Rory's lovely voice. Presumably this is during the period of Doc 2 history when he was taking a break from uh, Amy. Also, I quite appreciate that, you know, Claire's let everybody down. So bloody Claire, eh? You can never trust her. Oh, I've got a map. Okay, didn't realise I was going to have a map, but I've got a map. Marvellous. So, the game wants me to get a shovel. Well, a trowel is like a tiny shovel, so I'll be taking one of them. Guess I'll take the actual shovel too. Marvellous. Isn't it amazing up here? 
These views are incredible. I'm so glad you're here, Adam. Still can't quite believe it. A whole week with no distractions. That might not be my car, because the license plate appears to read almost Beth. So, okay, Beth must be bloody loaded if she's got a lovely flashy red car with her own bloody name as the license plate. Dear oh bloody dear. I'd like to think, by the way, as this is a first person game and thus, uh, I can't actually see myself. Yes, Beth arrived in a car. The reason she was rushing to speak to me and the reason nobody likes me is because I'm actually a goblin and this is just where I live in my little goblin shed. All right, which previously was just locked with a padlock, but because she needs help with the metal detecting, she's decided to uh, let me out. But now I won't go back in. Oh no, she has unleashed terror upon the world. Still, probably best we uh, pick up the old metal detector and get detecting, because, uh, oh, this is, this is nice. It's Britain, it's lovely, awesome. Apparently I could take like a picture over there. Okay, there's just pictures to take. Did you hear about the wind turbines? What about the wind turbines? So, two giant wind turbines have just been erected. Where are you going with this? Well, if you give me a minute, two wind turbines have just been installed. The first one thinks, oh, we're going to be neighbours for years, I should break the ice. So, it turns to the other one and says, hey, uh, what kind of music are you into? And the second wind turbine says, I'm a huge metal fan. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> Don't give up the day job. <laughs> mm, right now, this is my day job. <laughs> Tragic. Okay, I love this. I love this game. 10 out of 10 game of the year. Just chilling out with a metal detector, having charming conversations and telling dumb jokes over the radio. Though, it's sunny. I mean, that's wrong. We haven't had any bloody sunshine in this country in the whole bloody month of May. Just switch it on and walk around. As soon as you get close to anything metal, it'll beep like crazy and light up. And okay. Yeah, probably best tell me more. And then what? That's it. Just turn it on and everything will make sense. You make it sound idiot proof. Oh, guess we'll soon find out. Touche. Oh, we're gonna have fun this week. Now, serious for a second. I usually work in straight lines, rather than randomly walking around. It's easier that way. Okay, you're the boss. For once, I'm not the boss. Now, let's see what you can find. Okay, press B, on and off, continue. And by the sounds of it, yes, yeah, she wants to find an earring. The stakes of this entire game are she's lost an earring and she wants to find it. Again, that's the level of stakes I can deal with, damn it. So, okay. On it goes. And now, yeah, like they were saying, it makes sense to kind of uh, do a bit of a back and forth, like you're mowing the grass. Otherwise, uh, you're not going to know if you might have missed something. So uh, back and forth is the right way to go. So we're going to start right at the edge uh, over here. All right, because if anything, this is the best spot. Right by fences, all. Oh, you see, this is, this is positive. Right here, right here, right in front of me. And... There we go. It's underground. Uh, dig it up. So dig with shovel. And I'm guessing this isn't going to be the earring. I'm guessing this is going to be like, you know, a can. can of soda. And uh, oh my goodness. It's a penny, presumably. Hey, a penny's a great first find. But we'll find something way more impressive before this week's out. You sure about that? You scoured this place as a kid. Not much has happened here since. We could go anywhere, but you insist on staying here and standing. I don't get it. Come on, you know why. That earring, the best thing I ever found. The other one is definitely here and I want to find it. That earring, you can't be sure the other one's here. It is, always has been. Don't care what anyone else says. Last time, it wasn't just a lucky find, you know. You're not going to drop it, are you? This obsession of yours. <laughs> that earring changed my life. Okay, I was only a kid, but it changed everything. It still makes me smile thinking about it. The money seemed like a lottery win back then. And being in the papers, being the centre of attention. It was nice. 
You, we could have done this years ago. Why now? I asked Farmer Hobbs so many times, but he always said no. Maybe he thought he could find the other earring for himself. But not this time. Well, he couldn't really, could he? Not now that he's dead. Just when you were starting to think the day would never come, he goes and dies. Surprised you didn't help him on his way. Oi! No! It wasn't like that. He passed away. His hair sold up. And next week, they start installing a solar farm. So this is it. The last chance for more fame and fortune. It's the last chance to find that earring. I don't care about the money or being in the news again. No, I just want to... Oh, it felt so good last time. I don't think I've ever been as happy. But we should crack on, just in case the builders arrive early and turf us off. You mean, I'm not supposed to be here? No, oh, relax, Adam. I bet no one even notices you. Okay, is she not actually, like, here, working a different bit of the field? Because, uh, I mean, okay, she must be pretty close because she's in range of a little tiny toy radio thing. So, uh, okay. This might turn out to be one of them sad games, by the way. That's possible, because it sounds like, yes, this girl has uh, never left this town. So, we don't know why. We know she's become obsessed with finding uh, the other earring. I mean, if it was worth that much money, presumably it was like an ancient earring, like Roman Britain. But then again, that wouldn't necessarily be worth a huge amount of money. And there's a castle up there too. Take a picture, see what's uh, going on up there. To be honest, yes, castle, better place to be detecting. And tragically, nothing but apparently what the uh, the tourist dropped off. Bit of a shame there. Get her open again. And now, continue the... Oh. Okay. I am trying to do the detecting you want me to do. All right. Let's not flip and go interrupting me constantly, though. Hang on. Is mine... Is my battery going down? Is there actual time? Because time does appear to be moving on. I might actually be using real bloody time right now. That could be a bit of a concern. So, okay. Hang on. This might be more, like, you know, intense than I thought it was. Because, uh, can I check my phone or... How do I go over to my phone? Can I go over to my phone in any way? Oh, this is lovely. The map is actually a physical thing, which, depending on how you're facing, the light changes. Oh, that's nice. You know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of Firewatch, which is really good news, because that's precisely what I wanted this to be. Okay, I wanted this to be Firewatch. So, actually, to be honest, I seem to be... Okay, I'm kind of starting on the biggest field here. Do I want to start on the biggest field? Do I maybe want to try, like, you know, doing the smaller area over here before we get into the big stuff? Because uh, there's nothing to say. There's not something over on this little bit of land. This might be a good place to check first. Also, because it goes, like, you know, a bit colory when you're getting vaguely close to something, you might be able to speed run this by just sort of, uh, yeah, getting this thing in and out in a hurry and... Oh... Yeah, there we go. Something right over here. There's totally something over here. And the... Wait, what? It's right. Yes. About... About... About here-ish. I feel like I'm on... There we go. We're standing on top of it. That was the problem. Right. There was something here. Yes, you might be able to get the thing in and out nice and fast. And this here. This was right by my goblin hut. And... It's a tiny heart. So, there we go. Bit of jewellery, but presumably not what you want. And yeah, I think time is actually ticking along here. So, it's now 10.34. We need to get a flipping move on here. So, zooming in. And... Looks like half a sweetheart locket. Not precious. Nah, sorry. Just some cheap metal. And it's broken. Literally a broken heart. Mm. Speaking of broken hearts... Ooh. Yeah. Where's Jake? Seems odd that Jake isn't here. You were inseparable once. We're engaged. I'm joined at the hip. But still. He's gone away with his annoying rugby friends for a few days. That's all. I'll be back soon. Maybe you should text him. Let him know he's missing out on all this fun, right? Maybe. And he is missing out. He's got no idea how much he's going to miss out on. Ooh, that was... That was ominous. Best get on to this field. So yeah, we were over here. The map can show me what I've already found. So that can be a good way of remembering what I've already done or not. So alright. 
get her out here. I was over here. Let's see what else we've got, though. Definitely something's not right with uh with Jake there. All right. Question is, oh, Murray, there we go. There we go. Good old rumble pack and job done. Just have to be standing on precisely the right spot. Keep on keeping on, though. Yes, we might find. I don't know. Bent nail, presumably, right? That's probably a bent nail. Or a prong from a hayfork. Might have been bigger than what I thought, actually. And if from there, it can detect up to here, I might be able to do the entire field in, like, I don't know, uh, six or so back and forth. Though, also, don't forget, there's more over, more over there. So I need to make sure I cover off that bit in the corner over on the... Oh! Hey! I forgot to ask, is your detector working okay? I think so. Why? Oh, it's my old one. The battery can be a bit temperamental. Your old one? You mean I've got your cast off? <laughs> yeah, afraid so. And, uh, yeah, I just think I'll still find more than you. Let's be needlessly competitive. Can I, um, try using your detector for well, a while? Well, round of time, sorry. Mm, to see how we get along. I might let you have a go. In a few days. Scared I might find more than you if I have some decent kit. <laughs> I like your ambition. Maybe we'll make a truffle pig of you yet. <laughs> what? A, a, a truffle pig? Oh, blame Dad. He started calling me a truffle pig because I could sniff treasure through all the mud. Oh, I loved that nickname. It became our gang name too. Me, Claire, Sally, Jen. We were the truffle pigs. Our detectors too. That's truffle pig one you're holding. You named your metal detector Truffle Pig. Oh, no, hold on. I'm beeping. What? Did you find something else? Oh, this false alarm. It was my crazy person detector going off because it overheard you calling your detector Truffle Pig. Ah, oh, funny. Anyway, you already knew I was crazy. I think that's why you agreed to come here. Lured to an isolated farm by a crazy woman. And only one of them will leave. I'm sure one of the truffle pig t-shirts Dad had made for us is still in my attic. I should dig it out. I hope you're not expecting me to be seen in one of those. Mm, no, I think you're safe on that count. This is just very charming, isn't it? Yes, I can deal with this level of just, you know, low stakes charming. This here, this is fine. This is what I need today. This is lovely. So, just to move forward a bit. Oh, we need to catch up some time here with all the sort of maybe flirting. Make sure we get everything. There we go, just up and down. Keep your eyes open and journey to... Oh! Want a break for lunch? Your detector must almost be out of juice. We can recharge it. Oh, I'm nowhere bloody near done yet, but not yet. No, no, no. L let's carry on for a little while. Okay. Let's see how long that thing lasts. All right, and down we go. I just want to, you know, clear out this bit. At the bare minimum, let's do a couple of actual rows before we break for lunch. But yeah, I think there is actual real time here. So keep your eyes on uh, all of that. We'll head up over in this direction. And we'll do this bit. That way, we know it. Oh, there we go. I'm going to get at least one more thing before it's time for lunch. All right. Oh, oh, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. There we go. It's some sort of thing. Like, farming thing, possibly. No bloody clue. So, a bolt for the scrap heap. Anything to add to that, potentially? And woohoo, it's not an earring. Well, then again, add a loop to it. Might be a bit heavy, to be honest. So, maybe don't try and use it as an earring, actually. Oh, battery running low. Okay, looks like my battery finally died. Right, let's break for lunch. See you at the car. Last one back smells. Okay, there is real time going on. I need to, uh, yes, be efficient. This car is going to be so muddy by the end of the week. I'm trying not to get crumbs everywhere. Wow, you really love your car, don't you? Uh-huh. So, how was your first morning of detecting? And, uh, okay, I could have done better, to be honest. Not bad. How long until one of us strikes gold? Well, it's been 14 years and counting for me. <laughs> this is going to pay less than minimum wage, isn't it? 
Wait and see. You might be surprised. Are we going to pretend nothing's happened? What? It's been so long and you're just pretending we've never been apart that nothing's wrong. Um, okay. Well, how's life been since we last saw one another? Shouldn't I be asking you questions? Like, why am I even here? And how come you're not at work? Your job always seemed to come before everything else. You were obsessed with it. I was. I, I am. But... But... I've been working like crazy lately. I thought I'd see how Mud-a-Lot survives without me. If you insist. Mud-a-Lot. Such a silly name. <laughs> Mom asked me what I liked, and I said, I like mud. A lot. <laughs> Oh, I wish she was still here to see what she created. Her little outdoor equipment company. It's an empire now. We're the biggest employer in the valley, you know. Stanning would die on its ass without mud a lot. And when Dad retires, it's going to become your empire? Yup. Well, Dad'll probably put me in charge. I mean, I'm the eldest. Arguably the smartest. The most modest mud -a -lot sister. Absolutely. Definitely the best at tree climbing. <laughs> you remembered. But yes, all of those things. Perfect CEO material. It must be mine, right? Okay, now let's be supportive. And you're sure about that? As good as. I know Dad's been impressed, always saying how proud he is. So yeah, I'm sure that's been his plan. But you've never discussed it. What if you're wrong? <laughs> I've been there longer than Lucy. It wouldn't make sense not to. And your dad agrees? Okay, dad hasn't said out loud, but it's always been the plan that I'd take over. You know, I thought we had plans once. We were a team, till you ditched me. Forgot all about me. That's not fair, Adam. Or true. I never forgot about you. I never wanted you to go. I... I had to. Well, I'm here now. But you still haven't said why. Are we ever going to discuss it? Why I'm really here? We're here to find that earring. Not sit here eating sandwiches and Jaffa cakes all day. We should be fully charged again now. Come on, back to it. Okay, just check this corner. Then we need to start being efficient, damn it. All right, just... Well, there is a slight beep. Is that beep always there? That beep might always be there. Okay, I think this corner is clear at this point. Okay, so I made it over to this spot. So now what I want to do is go to about, say, here maybe. And go back along nearby to the rock then we'll pass the rock the other side and that might be good enough to do the entire field so okay here we go just keep it straight and we should pass straight over it oh just missed it just missed it again come on it's right there it's right there it's 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 right there we go gotcha right what have we got today i'm enjoying being a truffle pig this is just lovely and something a bit bigger Never mind, it's just a trashy old toy car. Nice find. Sadly, they're only valuable if they're pristine. And boxed. A fancier model of car would help too. But you're definitely getting the hang of this. Speaking of fancy cars, I noticed yours is a bit flash. It is, you know. And uh, totally you. Yeah, it sounds like I think we're just dicks to each other on occasion. Which is totally you. What do you mean? You never drive further than mud a lot. It takes two minutes, but you just had to have the flashiest car in the village. Hey, I work like crazy. I'm allowed to treat myself. I worked hard for that car. Treat yourself it is a box that you only use to drag yourself from home to work. One day I will go on a road trip. You can come too, but I might make you catch the bus for being mean. Fine by me. Anyway, I like buses. Being with other people, watching the world go by. Yeah? And what about the weirdo you always get on buses? Chatting away to themselves? 
<laughs> oh, wait. You are the weirdo. Oh, you think I'm the weirdo? Okay, we're going to get to the end of this week. And we're not going to have found the earring. And it's going to be because we keep flirting with each other rather than actually doing any cooking metal detecting. All right, back to where we were. Stay about here-ish. Just kind of, you know, bear in towards the... Oh. There was definitely a moment of green. Oh, okay. I might be doing slightly too wide. So... Oh, I found something, but it's just on the surface. Okay. Recent. Because it's not buried. Might be on the gates. Aha! That's how progression is, well, literally gated. I might have been doing, yeah, stripes a bit too wide. Because I missed that one going this way. I only just got it going back. So, oh, that's something. Let's swing over in this direction. Keep it centered. And there we go. Okay. So, I think I'm starting to understand how wide I need to pass in terms of all of that. And... That looks pretty boring. It's just a peg for something. Possibly someone who camped here at some point. Not sure. Yeah, looks like it. It's years since I've been camping. But you, at one point, it seemed like you lived in a tent. <laughs> I pretty much did when I was a kid. I'm just so busy now. Can't remember the last time. But I should. Just jump in the car and find somewhere nice to pitch up. With Jake? It'd be cosy. Just the two of you. Far away from work and the stress. I guess I've just got into the habit of working. Like, all the time. Weekends are... Well, they're not really weekends. But it's all part of growing up. Being an adult, I guess. Says who? The Beth I used to know would take being in a field over being sat at a desk any day. Yeah? That Beth used to like banana sandwiches. Or the smell of bonfires on her clothes. <laughs> face it we've moved on oh yeah we're going towards a sad ending there's a reason she's here and not at work but what's it gonna be i'm not a hundred percent sure but something's gonna be something's gonna be not right here something's gonna be not a hundred percent right okay need to speed this up a bit because it's already like 3 p.m Juice might run out at some point. I've not even done with, uh, yeah, this field. And there's another strip to go back. And a little field at the end there. And I feel like I was supposed to do all of this today. So I'm not really doing things uh, as efficiently as I'm supposed to. So all right, we got something over here. Here we go. Put it right in the middle. And then we're going to hit it nice and easy. Okay, get all this sorted out. One more thing. Now, trash or oh, treasure, probably trash. And it is... I don't know. Possibly a happy birthday badge or something. Just make sure we, uh, yeah, get it right with the lights. So, weirdest merch. Okay. Is that a mud -a lot thing, by any chance? Or... 70s were awash with crappy badges. I've seen photos of Dad and... Sorry, should have read that one faster. Okay, it was just a badge. Didn't really matter too much. Keep on keeping on. And yeah, let's speed this up a little bit here. Need to speed this up. And we got... We got something. Something, 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 something. There we go. Okay, head back to the left in a second. Just make sure we've... Uh, yeah, not missed anything that might be... Well, this could be trying to... Ooh. I don't know. Possibly a hairpin mm. with a lovely balloon in the background. Uh, ten past four. Cheeky gear. It's old. 1950s, perhaps? Maybe it fell off as a couple were having a moment of passion. Surrounded by cows. Yeah, you have got a strange idea of romance, Beth. <laughs> and speaking of hair, I almost didn't recognise you this morning. Were you expecting me to still have those ponytails? Actually, I've just had it restyled. What do you think? And, okay, let's be nice, though. Oh, okay, I'm not willing to be that nice. Yeah, I like it. I mean, I'm no expert, but it suits you. Thanks. I was getting a bit bored with old me, so I just had it caught on a whim. Old you? I just felt like I needed to, I don't know, become something else. I'm not sure a new haircut can do that, but it looks great. I guess I look a bit different now, too. 
You look exactly how I imagined you would. Okay, that's enough hair chat. Go and find me something. Ideally, something more exciting than a hair clip. I got us a key. That's pretty good. It's all right. Keep on keeping on. Back over in uh, this direction. And yeah, just a couple more. Should do the job. Uh, is the sun moving, by the way? I'm guessing it is. I think the shadows are changing over time. So uh, if I can just get the rest of this field done before sundown, I will take that as a massive... Oh, oh here we go. Here we flipping go. It's digging time. All right, just a nice little thing here. And... Yeah, there's something going on here. More than she's saying, and I have no idea what that is. Oh, it's a zip. Okay, I see. That makes sense. So, yeah, maybe she was right with her moment of passion. Tent peg, zip, hairpin, possibly some rapid outdoor undressing. Who flipping knows, eh? Right, on we flipping go. Here we go. We got one more round the back of the, uh, around the back of the rock here. All right. Next up, we have got ourselves a... Okay, that's the most disappointing yet. It's just a safety pin. That there, not desperately exciting. No, and it's almost 5pm. Though, then again, if it's sunny, then... Yeah, that would mean... Oh. Well, it's a nappy pin. For keeping nappies in place. Before all these disposable, elasticated nappies, they used to pin them. Who'd change a nappy in a field? The farmer and his wife? Mrs. Hobbs. Oh, I remember when she vanished. The baby, too. I remember all the mums gossiping about it. After that, Farmer Hobbs more or less lived like a recluse. Where did she go? No one knows. I mean, there were rumours. The school swirled with theories. A woman and her kids vanish, and we're just brushing it off as rumours and gossip. Oh, we were kids with overactive imaginations. It was probably just your regular run-of-the-mill divorce. Breakups happen all the time, but <laughs> people love to gossip and speculate. Okay, if it's this nice out, that means we're at the height of British summer. If it's the height of British summer, the sun should not be this low at like 5pm. That's not how this works. Ready to wrap up for the day? Oh god, no. No, no, no. Sorry, not even close. Oh, can we detect just a bit longer? The weather's so great. It would be a shame not to. I suppose so. For a short while, at least. Oh, I'm going to struggle with the battery. I shouldn't have been messing around at the beginning of the day. I wasn't taking this seriously enough. Okay, just got to get close enough that I know there's nothing in the, uh, the corner. Just up and then straight back down again. Okay, I think we're... We've got to be good in the corner, right? Because the battery's going to go soon. So I just want to finish off this field. Alright, so there we go. Just We're just going to do a quick sweep, alright? We're going to do a quick speed sweep. Just tap B. Alright, pit boy on and off here. Right at the end. One more. Just Yep, there we go. See, we're going to get one more thing. Alright, just one more. One more. There we go. And... Okay. What do we have now? This might be the final find of the day. This might be the last one. This is very exciting, damn it. And... I don't even know what that is. I've no clue. So, an old... Oh, it's a tape measure. Right, well, that's not worth much, no. We've covered a lot of ground today. Well done. Oh, I've loved having you here. Can't hang around, though. Got to check out a venue for the wedding reception. The wedding? Oh, I thought... What, you asking me back here, Jake being away, is it still going ahead? <laughs> yeah, of course. Why wouldn't it? Jake's never been around when it comes to wedding stuff, has he? Doesn't mean anything. And you know what I'm like? Can't wait for him to make his mind up. And wedding planning really isn't his thing. Still can't believe you're getting married. Like I said, I'm getting on with life. Nothing and no one is going to stop me. Come on, I'll meet you back at the car. Okay, just keep going, keep going, keep going. Until she stops me. No, no, we're fading to black. Stop fading to black. There might be more stuff to... Okay. Keep your eyes peeled. That was Monday. Now it's Tuesday. But am I supposed to be doing something else? Morning. Different fields today. We'll try somewhere new each day. Cover as much ground as possible. It's all going to be down to luck anyway. Luck? No, it's all about planning and hard work. 
And will I see a bit more of you today? Don't worry, I'll be close by. And we'll be talking a lot. Oh, and keep an eye out for a bangle. Mrs Havers from the post office collared me, asking what I was up to. Turns out she lost a bangle here years ago. Is there a reward? Don't know. She got a bit teary-eyed talking about it. Her husband bought her it. Anyway, I doubt we'll find it. Happy hunting. Speak soon. All right, check the map here. So I've got a big L shape. So probably best we just chat. Quick as you like, get going on moving on up here. So we just get up, down bottom, sorts out as soon as possible. And yeah, just speed run. Speed run the game, damn it. We just want to get over here. Because if I just move a little bit and then just get it down again, I'm moving faster, but I'm not moving so fast I'm going to miss anything. You see right there? Gone on that well fast. So we are now... Oh, yeah. This is it. This is how we get everything. And uh, whatever it is, it's already uh, partially exposed. It's pretty big. Old cowbell, I believe. Oh, it's a cowbell. I haven't seen one of those in years. Oh, cows have its sauce, don't they? Just chilling out. No worries. Until the aliens arrive and start doing their cattle mutilation thing. <laughs> you remember that? Oh, yeah. That mashed up cow. I'm sure it had been hit by a truck, but everyone swore UFOs had arrived in Stanning. Wasn't that photo of the UFO taken around here? It might have even been here on this farm. <laughs> As if intelligent life forms would come halfway across the galaxy and pick Stanning. Funny, you'd think there'd be even more UFO photos now that everyone has a camera on them at all times. But no. Maybe they're here, but brainwashing us, using their psychic power so they can walk among us completely undetected. Mm, one of us could be an alien. Or maybe both of us. That would explain a lot. <laughs> maybe we're not the strangest things we've materialised in Stanning. Nah, I think you're still the strangest, Beth. Maybe I'll mention it in my report to the Supreme Being. Okay, if that glider comes back, I'm going to take a snap of it, just because I'm curious if she's got anything to say about uh, all of that. Because, uh, yeah, random bits and pieces uh, she can be interested in. And that's just a leaf. It's not a UFO. There's no UFO, probably. There might be a UFO. That'd be a fun Easter egg. At one point in the middle of the day, if you look it up at exactly the right moment, there's a UFO. That'd be great. I'd love that. That'd be game of the year, all right? So you better be planning to do that game. And... Check over here, because this would be a logical point to have lost something. Slim picking so far, it must be sad. And also, I'd be a bit further away from the uh, the fence. Oh, we got something. We got something. We're coming up on something. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Thing number two. Yes, two. It's just a flipping nail or a screw or whatever. That there. No, definitely not what we needed to see. Only 10 a.m. Good progress today. All right, this is fine. Bingo! Oh, rusty screw. Another one for the collection. Maybe it's not just a screw. Think about the stories it could tell if it could talk. It could have been in that farmhouse for years, watching generation after generation growing up. <laughs> if you get this excited about a screw, you're going to lose your mind when we find some actual gold. I guess it depends on how you measure value. Maybe, but a worthless screw isn't going to change our lives now, is it? If we find that earring, you'll get it. You'll understand why I had to come back here. Alright, grab that. And yeah, we're almost at the top already. I might actually do a bit of a swing down. Try and do it all in one go. So, up in one. Then, oh. We have something. Something up here. There we go, right on top of her. And we have got... Okay, post-apocalypse currency. Spectacular. Though the asterisk might mean something. Let's uh, show that bit off, just in case that matters more. Not if you get, like, uh, different responses, depending on what you do or don't show her. Okay, on this occasion, she can't even be bothered to reply. So apparently that was trash, even by the standards of, you know, truffle pigging. So, alright. Over here... Let's see what we've got. We've made a solid start here today. Solid start. Spent a bit too much time, you know, in uh, messing around. And, oh. Yeah. 
Don't get an old photo of the earring I found. Uh, another mm. 500 pounds. Okay, that's that's not ancient. That might not sound much, but when you're 13, that's like winning a million. Shiny. I bet if we find the other, it'll be one big crusty mess. Maybe. But this one was almost pristine when I found it, so keep your eyes peeled. We could find it at any moment. Okay, we'll nip down bottom. All right, up, down again. Then we'll only have the little bit on the edge to do. That should be enough time to do another little sweep. And we got something. We got something. Here we go. Lovely. All right, buddy. What have you got for me today? And dig her up. Dig her up. Horseshoe by any chance? Yeah, presumably an old uh, throne horseshoe. So, nice picture. Lovely. So that's got to be lucky. And, I mean, it's not bad. Iron scraps worth something, at least. I once found one of those on the roof of my car. What, a horseshoe? You didn't run one over or something, did you? As if. No. But I remember. Oh, it was an amazing day. Outdoor monthly phoned me. I'd won the rising star of the year award. I cried when they told me. Dad came running in with some chilled champagne. Of course, he already knew. And, yeah, how did he know? How? Oh, he was chummy with the commercial team at the mag. We'd bought loads of ad space off him. They tipped him off. Lucy wasn't impressed. But, you know, when she won it the year after, I acted happy for her, like a good sister. She'd been so blasé when I won. She just couldn't bring herself to celebrate. Didn't want to look like a hypocrite. Anyway, we went to the pub to celebrate. I went to collect my car from the office the next morning. And there it was. A horseshoe on my car roof. Crazy, right? You never figured out how it got there? No, I've still got it. I keep it right next to the award. They're a pair. Bit of an odd pair. A shiny award and an old horseshoe. It's symbolic. I wouldn't have won that award if I hadn't worked like a horse. <laughs> and speaking of hard work, time to pull your finger out and find some treasure. Oi, I'm sure I've found way more things than you. You need to up your game, Beth. Cheeky sod. You've just been lucky. I admit, I do wish I could just keep protecting while I was speaking to her. That would be, uh, that'd be nicer. I would like to be able to, you know, get on. But just keep on keeping on. All right, so just straight back up there in a second. Uh, just slow it down to a walk. And yeah, there we go. You see, just saved myself some time right over here. And yeah, it's definitely uh, four back and forths, not three. It's a coin, but I don't recognise it. It's not an old 20p, because, yeah, it's the wrong shape. They were, what, heptagons, I think. So, what is that? Pretty common. Yeah, but what is it? Because round and silver, but like, it's too big to be a 5p. Oh, it could be one of the old 10p's. It might be one of the old 10Ps. They were pretty big, the old 10Ps. So, yeah, maybe if they had a bit of, like, zinc in them, they tarnished green? Possibly. I'm not sure, you know. I'm getting into this, all right? I've always kind of, yeah, had a bit of a romantic fascination with uh, metal detectors. It just feels like... What the flip was that? I guess you heard that. And, yeah, what, what just happened? What's up? You okay? Yeah, why wouldn't I be? That scream? Oh, it was a primal scream. Lucy just called from the office. Oh, she's shit-stirring. Trying to make a mountain out of a molehill. Trying to win Dad over while I'm not around. You sounded pretty angry. I am. I'm livid. She's accusing me of messing up an order. I do them every day. I could do them with my eyes shut. She does that. When I'm not there, plays up to Dad, tries to make me look bad. I sense some sibling rivalry. No! Well, not from me. It's her. Mum wouldn't fall for it as easily as Dad does. Look, you're not supposed to be working this week. Switch your phone off for a while. Oh, I can't. You know I can't. I told her to double check. That should be the end of it, but... I can't switch off. You can. You just won't. Alright, so... Yeah. Why is she on a holiday if she's got her phone on and she's just at the office 
anyway. What's so important about this one earring that she's doing this little week off? Hey, do you want to take a break now? Or see if your detector will last out a bit longer? Just a bit longer. Want to do another row if I can. I'm happy to carry on. Cool. Let's hope your battery is too. All right, down we go. Just one more row. If I can make it back up to the top by the time uh, it's lunch, that'd be great. So just, yeah, and then take a little bit step forward. And then just a little bit of a step forward here. Straight back down again. Not sure if this saves battery. It might be bad for the battery, but we'll have to see. So far, this field's been relatively limited pickings. And now, oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we flipping go. Right. There we go. That could be my last one before lunch. All right. We can have lunch after that. Because seriously, I'm ready for some cock and Jaffa cakes, Beth. So. Okay, it's not. It's not great. It's not spectacular. Ah, trolley tokens. Oh, back in the day, I remember them. Though not that particular design. So, all right. Got that. Keep on keeping on. Just check up to the... We're probably okay up to the top. Right, lunchtime. I insist. Want to talk about it? What, the thing with Lucy? Nah, it'll blow over. I'm more interested in you. After all these years, I wasn't sure I'd be able to persuade you to come back. I could hardly refuse, could I, given the situation? I didn't think we were in one of those situations. Really? So, why did you reach out? Maybe I panicked. Maybe I wanted a safety net. I don't know. I just... Maybe I didn't need you. Surplus to requirements already? <laughs> We've been there before. Perhaps I should just go now. No, not yet. Just let's hang out. I feel safer with you around. No one else does, though. They're petrified whenever you mention my name. They just... They don't know you. What you did for me, back then, you helped me to be happy again. You were a kid back then. You're not anymore. No, I know. It'd be easier if I was. Maybe it's fate that brought us back together. Fate? You don't believe in fate. You literally plan everything. Trust me, I didn't plan this. You know... <laughs> I used to daydream about you. I always imagined you becoming an astronaut or something like that. Years of demanding physical training, then strap yourself to a giant tank of fuel and ignite it. And if nothing goes wrong, you get to ship without gravity, which might sound like fun, but it's probably hellish. <laughs> you knew how to make me laugh. I've never found anyone that makes me giggle the way you do. Jake doesn't. He did, at first. It feels like a long time since we just laughed. You know, properly laughed. The kind where you just can't stop. What changed? I don't know. Is it him? Is it me? I used to be fun. I used to be funny. You are funny, Beth. N not just weird funny. Funny funny. <laughs> you and Jake, maybe you're on different wavelengths now. Maybe I've just stopped being fun. Always working, neglecting everything, everyone else. Do you think? You're scrambling for an answer again. Sometimes you just have to accept that there isn't one. What's up there? I just need everything to hurry up and happen. Becoming the boss at Muddlelot, getting married. Then I won't be so rushed. I'll have time for friends and hobbies. I'll be happy again then. Have you ever thought it might not just be an earring you need to look for? The earring! I shouldn't waste this week daydreaming. Come on, let's find that damn earring. Oh yeah. The moment she's got uh, the marriage and the business all out, there'll be something else. All right, back to where we were. Then straight back down to the bottom. Then we can just do the little side bit. So, uh, slim pickings down bottom. Not sure if I'm supposed to be, uh, yeah, using that. Like, trying to spot the points where there's... Uh, oh, straight a bloody way. It turns out I've got a bloody killer instinct for this nonsense. So, uh, yeah. 
maybe they're in like clusters. So if there's a fallow bit, you should just like not bother with it. Go for the better prospects. And it's a fork. I've still got it, my junk jar. Full of all the crap I used to find. Rusty nails, screws, bottle tops. All in that great big pickling jar. It's still in Dad's garage. Remember how I'd carefully clean each piece like it was gold. Then do a little drawing. Didn't know what half of it was. But I knew it was worthless junk. But I became obsessed with collecting it. That summer, I'd be out with my detector whenever I could. I really wanted to fill it. But you never did? Well, a more important mission came along. One day, Lucy found a ring. It was rubbish, costume jewellery. But I was gutted. She didn't even like detecting. Me and Dad, we detected all summer. Lucy tagged along, once. And it was the sheer luck of it that hurt most. And after that, you forgot about your junk jar. You just wanted to beat Lucy, find something better than her ring. And I did. Literally the next weekend. I found that earring. All the detecting, all that hard work finally paid off. And much of a muchness. The next weekend. Wow. And their faces. <laughs> they were speechless. They've been nagging me every two minutes. Found anything yet? And you did, right on cue. What were the odds on that happening? Exactly. We were all shocked. They'd been teasing me about finding something. It felt kind of magical. Like an uncle pulling a coin from your ear. Um, I suppose. Anyway, none of us realised what it was at first. My teacher spotted it was actually gold. Then I was in the news, kind of famous. Sold the earring, bought a trouble pick mark too. And, while you were lapping up all of that attention, we stopped hanging out. I didn't know that would happen. But we're back now. Here. Together. This farm. It's special. If I ever find anything important again, it'll be here. In these fields. You see, the thing about stories, they're all about, you know, trying to recapture lost youth. They never end happily. Because you never can. It's impossible. So they're always sad stories because what else are they possibly going to be? They can't be anything else. So all right, just... What's the time, by the way? I don't know. I don't think I can actually check my phone. So just speed up. We're almost done with this field. And yeah, I can check whether I'm like, you know, missing huge amounts just by checking the old map. So keep on keeping on. Slow down. All right, we're good. We're good so far. Just the bottom has just been complete trash. Don't go too fast, otherwise you'll miss something. Is that just a cow over there? Because there was a loud animal noise before too. But it didn't sound like a cow. I'm not sure what it is. Still, we're almost done with this field now. All right, just check over here. Final corner. Then we can turn into... Oh, course to four. Not doing so bad. And found a picture of the... Oh, the standing UFO. Okay, that could very definitely just be a plastic toy on a bit of string. Okay, so, oh, speak of the flipping devil. Well, not speak of the devil because I wasn't talking about UFOs and I'm probably not going to find one now. But seriously, just there we go. Gotcha, buddy. Okay, that'll be the final thing in this field. Then I've got two hours to do the tiny little, like, field annex or whatever. So, oh, it's just another bloody bottle cap. Okay, useful for the actual apocalypse, not so much otherwise. Oh, 1970s by the look of it. Thought so. Beer? Oh, probably. Now, shall we grab a beer when we wrap up here? Oh, maybe. Uh, how will it look if Jake calls and I'm out drinking? Well, he's out drinking. And, yeah, you just said he was off with his mates. Forget about Jake, he's not here. He won't. And I'm not sure you really want him to. A few nights away. He might change. It could have just been, you know, wedding jitters. You haven't told anyone, have you? About you and Jake? No, why should I? He never said it was over. Not really. He never actually said it. Have you stopped to think you might be better off without him? Besides, pretending nothing's happened won't help. 
carrying on with your wedding plans won't help either. I'm not cancelling. Not yet. Things might still change. We were good together. It wasn't always like it's been these last few months. Look, let's have a quiet drink. Nothing crazy. No one else. Let's try and figure out what's really going on. Okay. A drink. But at my place. You know how this village gossips. It might look weird if I'm out drinking without Jake. Weird? We spend all day in a field waving these sticks at the ground. I think we're already well past weird. And we should get back to waving them around too. There's still an earring to find. That's always your answer. Making yourself so busy that you don't have time to think about anything else. Yeah, or at least it was, until you turned up. Back to detecting. No arguments. Alright, none from me. I'm going to do the final field here. So, okay, just at the gate itself. And now, there we go. How do I do this as efficiently as possible? Honestly, it's not It's not huge. It's just get over here. And then up and down, quick as you like. So, okay, Adam's not just being thirsty. All right, so apparently, uh, yeah, her relationship has actually broken down in what feels like a pretty damn permanent way. I like, by the way, how the weather is not like, oh, hang on. The weather's not always the same. Like, you know, there are clouds passing in front of the sun on occasion. Like, you know, it's not pure sunny or pure cloud. Generally in games, weather is always just what it is, and then it gets rainy when things are sad. Like, that's all you've got. But in this game, yeah, there's sunlight, but there's passing cloud too. So, I don't know, a grill or something? I genuinely have no idea. So, door off a cage. Not sure what that would be doing out in a field, but all right, fine, fair enough. Just got to keep going. All right, we're nearly done with a full field today. All right, just little moments, little moments, little moments. All right, this is this is definitely how you metal detect. And no, not now, damn it! Change of plan. No drinks tonight. Just had a call. I really need to get to the office. We've got a big problem. Can't they cope without you? You've got other things to worry about. Trust me, it's the last place I want to be. Lucy was right. I fucked up, like, really badly. I ordered 15,000 water bottles. It should have been 1,500. Lucy and Dad have told me to stay away. It feels like they're trying to push me out. Maybe they just want you to enjoy your time off. Leave them to it. They can return them, can't they? They're branded with model art. 15,000. That's more than we've sold in the past seven years. Oh, I look like such an idiot. Listen, everyone makes mistakes. Everyone else does, not me. I'm the one that spots them and saves the day. Oh, Lucy's going to love this. See me screw up just as Dad's about to retire. Look, you, you had an off day. It's not just an off day. I'm letting things slip. Little mistakes. Nothing's ever perfect anymore. And it feels like I've been waiting for someone to rumble me. You've got a lot resting on your shoulders. They know that. They don't. It's been relentless. Never a spare moment. They don't even see it. I'm always... It's... Oh, I don't know. Want me to come to the office? Offer some support? No, definitely not. If they find out you're here, that's it. I'm screwed. We've got to leave. Now, come on. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, don't fade to black. Don't fade to black. Don't fade to black. Don't fade to black. All right? I'm just, just working on this right now. Okay, I'm so out of... Oh, no! No! I almost did it! I came so close to doing the damn field! Dear, oh, flippin' dear. All right, Wednesday and... Uh-oh. Morning. How did it go at the office? Get sorted. Oh, that. Can we just have some fun today? I don't really want to think about work. Or oh, Jake. Hey, guess what? The police have taken an interest in what we're doing. I bumped into Sergeant Marler. He was asking lots of questions. He spotted me the other day. I think he was making sure I was okay out here by myself. But you're not by yourself. Oh, I'm fairly sure I didn't see you. And? He asked if I'd found anything interesting. Such as? Who knows? Maybe he's hoping we'll find something to do with the Stanning Slayer. That was years ago. One of the farmers over in Beckwith, wasn't it? Had his throat slit. Oh, found him propped up in his field. Like a scarecrow. It made the national news. They made out like it was the work of a serial killer, but it was a one-off. They never caught anyone, did they? Dunno. They 
questioned all the farmers, searched every farmyard to be sure it was a farmer. Oh, it's given me an urge to start a band called Stanning Slayer. You in? <laughs> Definitely. As long as I get to play drums. And you? What's your role going to be? And... I can't play guitar, so I'll go vocals. I'll be the singer, then. Um... No. I'm not sure the world is ready to hear you sing just yet. Oh, Beth, I have got a great voice. Sound of your own voice and being a singer are not the same thing. Right, I'm quitting the band. <laughs> Enough goofing around. It's time to find that earring. Okay, this is a weirdly small field, though. Oh, okay, right. So this is getting more complicated here. Let's do this little field, then maybe with that key I found, and get through here. Nice and easy, though. Oh. Okay, there's also a helicopter. That might be important. Give it a quick snap. And is that the police or...? Nah, mountain rescue. Of course. Regular as buses at this time of year. I guess someone's come unstuck. Oh, it'll be some dickhead. Gone hiking, completely unprepared. Then, surprise, surprise, they need rescuing. I'd be mortified if it was me, being caught out. It's tragic, really. Nice to know there's somebody there to help, though. All because some moron heads out without a plan. Maybe they had a plan. Maybe they just stood on a loose rock, snapped their ankle. Come on. I bet every rescue is the result of someone's bad judgement or clumsiness. It's not that hard to trip up. People do it all the time. It could be one of us one day. All right, so we got that. Just keep your eyes open and, yeah, just I need to keep doing my back and forth here. But, yeah, we didn't get the bangle yesterday. And I did confirm by looking at the sun, end of yesterday, time it doesn't freeze. All right, time doesn't freeze while you're out doing all of this nonsense, uh, while you're actually on the phone. So, uh, I mean, that's nice. Maybe not that valuable, but it is jewellery. That's a bit of a step up right there. Nice find. Pretty sure it's costume jewellery, but I'll double check later. So, what's the score? I told you. I don't want to talk about Jake or work. Touchy? No, I meant the score. Who's found the most? Oh, that. I'm not keeping score. Let's just keep looking for that earring. Keep on keeping on. I might miss a little something, but I'll cover more ground overall. And, uh, yeah, the chance of missing something is not... It's not huge, just... Oh! Hey, I found a big knife by the wall. I'm gonna keep it. Might be the only useful thing I find this week. Oh, the standing slayer! Oh. What sort of knife? Not sure. Not very old. Look sharp. And, yeah, be careful. Be careful, Beth. Looks like this thing could slice through flesh. It's probably been used to gut a few rabbits. Or maybe put a sheep out of its misery. Weird when you think about it. Most cattle never leave the farm, do they? Until they go to the abattoir. Guess I'm no different. Born here. Work here. I'll probably die here too. Jeez, you've been a bit morose, Beth. We've literally got a lifetime to enjoy life before death. A lifetime? Tell that to Mum. She was only ten years older than I am now when she died. Shit in hell, Adam. I don't even feel like I've started living yet. Ten more years isn't enough. Hey, stop thinking like that. You're not your mum. You've got 60, 70, who knows how many years ahead of you. But... What? Well, there's no guarantees either. You might get struck by lightning tomorrow. Or... Perhaps the Stanning Slayer could return? Not without his knife. <laughs> well, you're certainly cheering me up now. <laughs> All I mean is... Well... You know. And watch yourself with that knife. Don't want you coming to any harm. Alright, back down we go. She might have found the murder knife. Lovely. I just need to do... Once round this field, then maybe just a bit of a wiggle through the middle... Once we're done with that, move into the next one. Should be there before noon, ideally. Though, seriously, we've not found, like, anything here. I should probably... Oh, bloody hell. Well, glad we turned this back on. 
I should probably actually just run straight to the end and start seriously. Where the there it is, it was behind me. Because, yeah, if there's good stuff, then again, maybe it comes out in order. 11am, we're doing alright. Get in the next field by noon. <laughs> Not sure about gold, but you're on a roll. Yeah, it's almost too good to be true, don't you think? You're just having a lucky, a very lucky streak. Don't stop now. Oh. Could she have planted something to get me to hang out? Just because she wants to hang out with me. And she thought this would be... Oh. I'm getting planted. Because both of them were a bit clean. Then I'd say there's a very real possibility she's intentionally... Oh. We got something. She's intentionally been planting things for me to find. To keep things uh, interesting for me. Because she wants to hang out. Okay. Same again. More costume jewellery. What is going on here? Another! Any sign of a hallmark? It's not a great design, but if it's gold, it'll have weighing value. Now, it's a bit hard to tell, but mm, no, can't see a hallmark. I noticed you're not wearing your engagement ring anymore. So? Well, I'd congratulate you on moving on, but you haven't changed your relationship status on your feeds yet, have you? And no one else is going to find out either. Not yet, okay? Well, they're going to find out when they see the rings missing. They'll find out sooner or later. I just can't face the questions or the snarky comments. You know what people are like. Okay. I won't say a word. Aren't all these finds freaking you out? I just keep finding jewellery in this field. It's a bit odd. A bit? We've hardly found anything and then BAM! It's almost like the detecting gods wanted us to find a trove. You... um... You should keep looking while you're on a streak. Okay, as soon as we're done with this field, I'm going to the far area because I'm suspicious. She's wanting me to, I don't know, not see something. So I feel like something might be going on elsewhere. All right, just dig up the rest of this field because that might lead to some different conversations. But something's going on here. All right, it's going to be something else. Nice. And, uh, no, for once it's not. And then just straight down the middle. The only bit I don't think we've done yet. But I think we are, yeah, about done. About done here. So, yep, there we go. Over to lunch. That was an amazing morning. I just kept finding stuff. Here, want to take a closer look at my haul? Yeah, I can't believe your luck. Mm, there's nothing of any real value. It reminds me of being a kid. Mum put together a dress-up box that Lucy and I used to play with. Random bits of jewellery, like these. I think she used to buy it from junk shops and jumble sales. Before the business took off, of course. What? You recognise this stuff? Oh, no, it just reminds me of it. Why is it scattered in this field? <laughs> Someone trying to grow a crop of crap jewellery. Who knows? Beth, where did you find the earring? Was it where I've been searching? I don't know. It was so long ago, I can't be certain. Beth? Maybe. So why didn't we start there on day one? I, I don't know. It's... it's complicated. Complicated? If you really wanted to find the earring, why didn't we start where you found the other? You don't have to ask! You know the answer! Oh, you just want me to say it, don't you? What? That it was strangely convenient? You finding something right when you were at your lowest point? I detected all summer long. Hardly found anything. Even Lucy had found something. I was miserable. I thought finding that earring was a reward for working so hard. I didn't care if it was, you know, a bit strange. Strange as it was, I didn't do anything wrong. I did find it. You did. But there's always been a niggling suspicion about it, hasn't there? It felt too... 
lucky. Almost like I wanted it so badly that I'd somehow conjured it, made it happen. <laughs> You're not that gifted, Beth. I know. Then the only explanation is... I don't know. There isn't one. Really? If you can't even admit to me, to yourself, then we may as well get back out there and detect. Hey, I'll say when lunch ends. I'm in charge. Not anymore. I mean, I'd say her mum planted it, but 500 pounds of jewellery is... It's too much. It's too much for just, you know, a mother wanted to make her feel better. So, okay, I'm skipping to the far end. All right, we're going to the far end. Although, honestly, while we're actually uh, on the way, we may as well just uh, do a bit of scanning while we're passing by. But yeah, I'm going to see if maybe the good stuff is hidden. There we go. The good stuff might be hidden where the game's kind of expecting you to not get. So, okay, that is a watch, a buckle, except that's not metal, so... I don't know. I don't know what it is. And it's an old model lot bag. Oh, marvellous. Open it up and... Oh. Okay. There's actually some good stuff here. Right. This is fascinating. A bag of costume jewellery or something. So, what? Bloody hell. I can't quite make it out. What have you got? More crappy jewellery. A couple of rings, a brooch, a pendant, an ID bracelet. And that's a muddle lot bag. It's an old one. And do you think that's just a coincidence? What? <laughs> yes. We find a bunch of costume jewellery and then a muddle lot bag with even more in. And? And? Just out of interest, who chose this spot back then when you found the earring? I can't remember. You know I can't. Then you need to ask... Dad? Or Lucy. They were both there, weren't they? If Lucy knows anything, she'll be dying to rub my nose in it. You need to call them. You said you wanted to finish this, once and for all. I wanted to find the other earring. Make everything fun again, like it was back then. Do you want me to make the call? No, absolutely not. I need to do this. By myself. All right. Grab that. Yeah, I suspect the places might be fixed, but the loot comes out in a certain order, perhaps. So now we are... Yeah, this is now the far field. So we're going to do the far field first, because it's pretty narrow. I spoke to them. Dad and Lucy. And? And now I'm sat in the car wishing I hadn't. Wishing everything away. Ready to talk? Ready. Why did you make me do that? Phone them. You know why. What happened back then? It, it's trapped you in the past. Trapped? The one thing I had that I could always focus on when things turned to shit was that earring. Daddy planted it. Made sure you found it. So you'd feel like you'd achieved something. You've known. Suspected it all this time. You've just convinced yourself it wasn't like that. You can't just blame Lucy and your dad. You playing along, you must have realised it was a setup. I swear, I didn't know. I mean, I knew there was something odd. Dad directed me to look here and there, Lucy laughing, but... But you didn't ask. You, you didn't want to know. You didn't care as long as you had your prize. Bit harsh, Adam. It's not like I didn't deserve it. I've put so many hours into detecting. Unlike Lucy, she barely touched a detector. She thought it was boring, then instantly find something. You think Lucy had beginner's luck? What else could it be? Funny how everyone else is lucky, but when you find something, it's suddenly a reward for your hard work. Wow, chill out, Adam. Did it never cross your mind that perhaps Dad dropped something for Lucy to find too? That's what dads do. Good ones. Leave little treasures for their kids. You know, earrings, money, advice. Jobs? Jobs. Really? Really? You're saying I haven't earned my position at Model Art? 
working my ass off all these years? Maybe you did, but everyone there works hard. Some never get promoted out of the warehouse. No, enough! I can't handle this conversation. Not now. Not on top of Jake. Not on top of the earring. Not on top of Dad and Lucy lying to me. Everyone thinks I'm losing it. That it's happening all over again. There's not a chance I'm going to be put in charge of Muddlelot now. I asked you here to help me. All you've done is pull at the threads. Make everything fall apart. It was already falling apart. That's why you reached out to me, to come and sort you out. Again. Christ, your voice. You're really starting to irritate me. I just need you to shut up. I need to think. I just need a plan. No, not more plans. You just need to figure out what you want. I thought I had figured it out. A great job, marriage, then kids. Then I'd be happy, like everyone else seems to be. But when they all started to evaporate, all I could think about was the earring. Finding it would bring it all back. All that locked up happiness. Now that's gone too. I've got nothing. Don't be a drama queen, Beth. You've got a family that cares. A guaranteed job. We've been in darker places than this. Remember? And who helped you through it? Who was there when you couldn't talk to anyone else? And the earring. M maybe the other one is here. Maybe the other one was planted too. You think? We well, could just ask your dad. He'd know. Maybe we should just walk away. I could talk to dad and Lucy. Ask for help so they can invent a new scenario to make you feel better about everything, like they did with the earring. No, you don't need them. Not this time. We can sort this. It's going to be bleak tomorrow. An awful day. But anything is better than going into the office. Or hiding at home. If we can ride it out, it'll change everything. Forever. Trust me. Are you in? I suppose. Possibly. We need to go and get a drink now. Because, oh yeah. Okay. It's Thursday. And things are not looking hot. And I was expecting it to be raining under the circumstances. But alright. Hey. Hey. I wasn't sure you'd turn up today. I said I would. Besides, what else am I going to do? The house just reminds me of Jake. Every time I move, I see another bridal magazine staring at me. Going to the office means facing Dad and Lucy. Do you want to talk about it? Any of it? <sighs> Later. It's still sinking in. But I have got some news about the Stanning Slayer. I bumped into Sergeant Marler again, so I asked him. We were right. It wasn't a serial killer, just a one-off. A crime of passion, he said. Some teenagers thought it'd be funny to daub the scarecrows with red sheep dye to scare the kids. <laughs> That's how it started. Sounds like it worked if you're still going on about the Slayer all these years later. Mm, that's sleepy villagers for you. No real news or excitement, so we have to make everything up. Okay, I'm relying on you to find something good today. I'm not sure I'll be able to focus, but I'll give it a try. All right, and there we go. First day begins. But, as I understand it, this is about half the game. It's like uh, a week or so. It's only a few hours long. So, what I'm going to do, because this is a narrative game and it only came out today, I always find it's fair to, like, you know, not put an entire more linear narrative game up on the day it comes out. You know what? That's not fair to the dev team. So, 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 so. If you'd like to know how this all ends, link in the description below, ladies and gentlemen. You can go and experience the rest of this right now. Just maybe, you know, something like an hour, hour and a half, two hours left to go, end of the story, possibly a whole bunch of treasures I have not found. I've had a lovely time with this. This is just, just sometimes. I want a nice, simple, 
narrative game and mixing in a bit of, you know, archaeology and British countryside, well, that just makes it work for me. This is not going to be for everybody, but right person, right mood, this could be perfect. Let me know if you'd like to see the ending. We might well have a bit more of this next week. But in the meantime, I've been Joel. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been the wonderfully named Magnificent Truffle Picks. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Oh, also, apparently you've either got a girlfriend or a daughter. Hopefully That's a girlfriend. My girlfriend. Really, hopefully a girlfriend. No! Stop walking around! Just, just stay still! Just, just stay still! I st don't know! Stop doing laundry! There we go! <laughs> How are you so bad at escaping from prison?